know, our subject today is feeling stuck. And I don't know how many of you have felt stuck before. And maybe you feel a little bit like this, like where is God in this whole picture? Or maybe a little bit like Tim Allen in the Santa Claus when he gets stuck down that chimney. <laughs> I need a little help down here. Or maybe one of my favorite life philosophers, Charlie Brown, when he says, ah! <laughs> Many put the hymns in the same category as Christmas carols, but there's so much more because many of the writers of these hymns were also feeling very stuck. got me started thinking about doing a talk like this is my husband and I went to see a very fine violinist who was also a speaker and this was his story he had come to a point in his life where he really felt stuck <laughs> he said okay God nothing is happening he got on his knees and he said okay okay God I want you to be my agent wow well, you know what about 30 seconds later he received a phone call and he started working with some of the biggest stars on the planet i mean some of the biggest stages in the world whoa well i walked away from that thinking ah, i think i've given everything to you god but but how come i'm still like feeling sort of stuck in my life elton john hasn't given me that call saying you know deb <laughs> My chops aren't what they used to be. Can you open for me for two years in Vegas? I could play all of his songs. When I went to write a couple new songs for the album, I focused on the one thing that would never, ever, ever change in our lives. You know, our work can change, our families can change, our living situations can change. Our spouses can change, but, but you know what never changes? God. He is the same yesterday, today, and always. And I wrote about that. I wrote about who he is. And storm and fire, my heart it longs to follow you, that I may find that you are true. We're going to look at the story of Gideon. You know what he was called by God? a mighty warrior. He, he could have had that name plate on his door, on his desk. He could have been on the front of Muscle Magazine. So in the middle of the night, Gideon and his army of 300 surrounded those Midianites with those jars, those torches, and those trumpets. And they broke those jars, they lit those torches, and they blew those trumpets. And you know what? Those Midianites woke up in the middle of the night. They were so confused that they turned on each other and killed each other. So the battle was won. Whoa. Wow. Well, you know what? After this, Gideon, mighty warrior. Boy, you could have thought, wow. Boy, oh boy. You know, I could start a blog. Mm. I could start a Twitter account bigger than Katy Perry. Oh no, first things first. Ha, I have to start the Facebook page. He couldn't, could he? Why? because it wasn't his battle that he won. It was God's timing, it, it was God's method, and it was God's victory. It wasn't Gideon. Amazing Grace is one of the best known songs in the whole world. Many people think it's a folk song, but it's a hymn. And I've combined it with another hymn written from a man who is also feeling very stuck. He lost four of his children, but he wrote these words, it is well with my soul. Well, I love the story of Oscar Pistorius. 
Now, Oscar was the South African runner that ran on carbon fiber legs, and they're called cheetahs. His life motto was, you are not disabled by your disabilities, but you are able by the abilities that you have. Well, I don't know where you are today, and if you're running or where you're running to, but I want to leave you with a great thought. You're not, you don't need to be held down by your situation in life, but you need to focus on what is true.